Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my videos and today I'm here in my bedroom because I'm going to be doing like letting you know how it was with sats and stuff like that. So, um basically this video is basically for the year fives who will be doing sats. I wanna say next year I think it is, because um year sixes this year did sats. Um I'm guessing I think this is for the year fives in um the UK because I don't think like the American kids did that, did like Sats Week um, this week um, because, well, it's just different dates, you know. So, actually, not in the centre. <laughs> um, so, this video is probably just for the UP, um, kids who live in the UK. Now, I actually have my Chromebook here because I'm going to be answering some of your questions. Uh, now, no one actually responded to the um, post, I don't think. Um, so,. I actually only did post that, so I might actually delete that because, you know, I did the video, like, I'm doing the video, like, straight after. So, you may have noticed that I did change my channel to Slytherin Girl. Uh, that's just because I've got into Harry Potter, um, which I actually have something to show you guys. I was going to show you it now, but I'm going to show you it later. Um, so, the best bit, actually, is at the end, um, you, well, I don't really know, not all parents might do this. But you could ask your parents if um, they could maybe surprise you with something at the end of the week. So something to look forward to. I got a load of Harry Potter stuff. Um, so I got this water bottle. It's really heavy. I just filled it up. So this is Slytherin. And also it says HP with a snitch um, on there. Um, so I'm actually obsessed with this water bottle. Um, and also I got a badge that said Slytherin on. Which I'm also obsessed with. So um, yeah that was what I got. And then... Obviously, your parents could get you something that you're like, you like. So, like, if you like Harry Potter stuff, Harry Potter stuff. Because um, I actually searched up for stuff that I wanted and um, I couldn't find much. Um, so, my parents just had to choose something for me. So, um, I actually, I'm going to look up questions that you might want. Oh, my gosh, I said my password wrong. No, it's correct. Um, now, I'm looking at questions that it says that you guys might want to know um so if you hear my dad in the background I'm just being loud oh my gosh oh my gosh are we about to go on to Harry Potter memes because I've been watching them on YouTube so questions um about sats now you might call them SATs I call them sats but some of them are actually you know I call them sats so the first question what are sats i've just got a load of like questions here so what are sats sats are base i might not be able to answer all of these anyway um so sats are basically um they determine what group you're in in your high school so like if you got a lower score you would be set in a the lower group and then if you've got a high score you'd be set in the higher group so it de it depends like what score you get and then they send your primary school sends that off to the high school um and the high school determine what like group you're gonna be in um now what does such measure well i just kind of told you that um what are the different sections so actually um the different types of like exams so it's not just maths um it's i think it's spag which is spelling and grammar uh maths and reading and spelling because spag is um grammar basically it's not spelling so it's grammar and um spelling spelling is like you know spell the words and grammar is punctuation stuff like that uh well these are really okay i'm, I'm gonna these are really confusing questions that i don't know how to answer um oh yeah so there's actually two um like sets of maths questions so there's reasoning and arithmetic there might be more in other places but which is why i'm just really doing it for the uk kids um so obviously reasoning is like questions where it's like sam has five ap five apples he gives two to his friends how many does he have like that's reasoning arithmetic it's just the straight up questions like 12 plus 4 obviously it's probably not going to be that because that's really easy it'll be probably be harder than that but you know and then also it stands for standard assessment tests um sats it's actually sat not it's there's an s on the end or maybe it's just sat not sats 
I have no idea. Oh, and by the way, um, I just wanted to say this one may sound really cringy, and I was gonna put it in my post, but I just had to just say it here. Um, actually, doesn't matter what score you get, um, because all it determines is what group you're gonna. In. Like a lot of my friends think it's gonna be, oh, if you get a really low score, you're not going to high school. You have to stay back a year. That's not what it is. That is not even close. Like, no. Um, is it similar to GCSEs? GCSEs, I think you can choose what, um, like, what kind of sections you do, because I think in GCSEs you have to do science, maths and English, I'm going to say. Um, but obviously it's sat to you have to do maths, reading and spelling, grammar and spelling. Um, um, so yeah, GCSEs you can also, so you could choose like art, you can actually choose what um, lessons you do in SATs um, so yeah uh, when you see your SATs results well in the school I go to obviously can't say the name but probably be like this you don't see them I don't think till when you leave for high school um, so I think you don't you don't see them until like when you go to high school um, so yeah I think I don't think that yeah I think you just see them maybe before you leave also you guys might have a Leavers production coming up, which I also have to mention. Um, you can also be excited for that because that might be, I think it's two weeks after you do SATs. Because our SATs is right now. Then we've got the production. Actually, no. Yeah, and then we've got the production in, I'm going to say June, uh, which is next month. But right now it's the 17th of May. Um, because yesterday was SATs day. So yesterday was the last day of SATs. Now... I will actually tell you what we did. Um, so we got to, so our teacher, she handed out the test papers, practice test papers from ages ago, because you might be doing like practice set, um, practice papers, um, like arithmetic, reading, reading, stuff like that. Um, basically, SAT is the exact same thing as a practice test, apart from the fact that you move your tables, I think, and you can't look at people, stare at people, or make any noise. Um, so it's basically just stricter, but it, it like the the tests are the same, like they're set out the same. I mean, the men look a little bit different, but they're set out the same. Um, you oh, I just saw uh, someone, someone asked, can I fail Sats? She answers that question. No, you cannot fail Sats. <laughs> um, it just no, it just determines which group you're going to be in. Um, can you get a hundred percent in Sats? Okay, so basically, if you get a hundred percent, you'll have met the expect expected standard in the test. So that's basically the highest you can get. Um, the highest scaled score is one hundred and twenty. Wow, that is a lot. Uh, our teacher told us that no one's got zero. Luckily, um, I don't think anyone's ever got zero. I don't think. Um, so yeah, the average score is a uh, hundred. Um, but if you don't get 100, it's fine. It's not, like 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 I said, don't listen to other people if they're saying that you won't go to another school because that is that is not true. You you won't stay in primary school. That's not a thing unless you choose to stay back. I don't think, even think you can do that anymore. My my nanny was saying, oh, you stay back, stay back in year six and do it for another year. I can't do that again. Not that obviously. Year six wasn't fun. It was fun, um, because last year, I mean, the not the you're really tall, <laughs> um, and you're like the oldest in the school. I'm not the oldest actually. I'm not actually the third youngest because it goes two of my other friends and then me, um, and yeah, the the um, oldest person is turning twelve this year, um, and I'm a, I'm not even turning eleven because they're turning twelve in September. And then next year they'll be 13. I actually sit next to them in class. Um, so, actually, I'll just sit next to them and beat Matt. So, yeah, Felix sits um, next to me and he's turning um, he's turning 12 this year. And so is Lila. Uh, I can actually keep that one in because she just tipped off. Um, are sets easier than practice tests? No. Well, I don't know that the. <laughs> I mean, it depends, like, it changes, so, 
in my school we actually did so last year's sats we so if they did like uh their sats reasoning paper was our practice reasoning paper which felt like so it can't be too hard they're the same because if you use the practice test as a sats test they're the same they don't get harder by the way i don't think um they're important for school's data so like they keep it in like a special record but it actually doesn't oh right oh i didn't know this you learn stuff every day uh not so much for secondary schools as most secondary schools sit their own test to determine groups but this if they do do that in your school like you have two sets as well because i'm guessing that just adds on to what they did now i'm also going to be answering questions about gcse's um oh i can't i was gonna say what it stands for but i don't, I don't, I don't know how to say that um yeah what, what year do you do gcse actually actually i'm not gonna ask that because i don't know what to say about it just watch someone else's video that's older than me because i don't know what to say about it um so uh, i don't know what else to say about sats things you need to know about sats um yeah basically just try your hardest don't matter what you get um so yeah um your parents find out the same time as you do so i think so they won't know unless you tell them i'm not going to say what i got in my practice test because i brought one home and um i'm not going to say um i forgot to say what we did um to like celebrate the end of sats so yesterday miss matt Wait, I'll beat that out because I accidentally said the name. Um, handed out the tests and um, practice tests and gave us them, making us think that we were going to do it all and go through them as revised. That's revision. Well, you know what she's like doing? She ripped the paper up and threw it at one of my friends called Eleanor. And Eleanor was really confused. And she was like, what? And then um, Miss Marshall just goes, um, join me. And we were all really shocked. Because like, why are we ripping papers up? And it felt really wrong. Because it felt like we were just ripping up our papers. Uh, which would be really naughty. Um, so we started throwing them at each other. And then my friend Lucas. I say my friend, I don't know. Um, um, threw one at my eye. And it really hurt. And then one of my friends, DR, threw it at me. Really hurt. So, I'm not, I don't really, I didn't like it. It was really loud. So, um, I left the classroom crying because um, I didn't like it. And I just got to draw and said, a lot of my friends had fun. And there was an actual video. I will play it there if I can play videos. If not, I'll just do a, um, a photo and I'll blur the people's face out if i'm even allowed i'm not sure if I'm um yeah i will in mind um so yeah uh what else that's for um well they show you what you did i don't know what else you can i can answer about this i'm just gonna show my comment now because i don't have else to answer so yeah i'm just gonna say that they're not for anything really it's just to see what group you'll be in and um yeah your teachers will be really nice and in my school we had a big breakfast now the things we got was like beans um sausages um toast anything we wanted that was brown bread and um, white bread and it was actually really good um cereal um orange juice apple juice and uh, water um, tea there's loads of stuff that i wouldn't bother naming because it's so much um which is really fun we came in at 10 past 8 we had to be there at 10 past 8 for the office and we just got to have the big breakfast before the sats actual actually happened uh, which was really actually relaxing because obviously we're gonna worry about all that stuff there was actually most of the days we were on one test a day but on one of the days it was two arithmetic and reasoning and the next day it was reasoning because it was Wednesday that was the arithmetic and reasoning, and then Thursday was just the reasoning. I was gonna tell you, because there are two reasonings. I was gonna, I have a notebook up there, not there, it's there 
on that wall um and there was like a sats timetable i was gonna get it for you but i actually just ripped it up on yesterday because we don't need it anymore uh, anyway, I think that's the end of the video because I don't know what else to say about it. If you have any other questions, comment down below and I'll do something else. Um, another another short of video. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye! Oh.